Hello guys, first sorry for the delay, the NDA project is still not finished yet. I was very busy. The coming week is the last week of that project. Anyways today we are going to fix the basics of buildings. Before moving further make sure to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support me on Patreon. I'm going to release the vellum multi-layer cloth sim after this RBD tutorial. Today we will start on building preparation fracture, so first let's import the building. This is a very old building, so our goal is we need to demolish it without any bombs or something. We just need to delete the constraints of lower part then it will automatically get break. We need to create a leaning fall. If we will delete this part, then the building will go something like this and it will break down into pieces. First, we will do the preparation of a building. So this is the pack Alembic right now. We need to unpack it. As you can see, we have a path attribute here which is very useful. We need to transfer that path attribute after the unpack. So now this building is very low resolution. To fracture we need to at least give some more division. Take a convert node to make it as polygon. As you can see, now we have a polygon plus 50th unique path attributes. Now take create name from path node. I will give this OTL link in the description. What will it do? As you can see, we have a path attribute here which is quite big. This OTL will be going to extract the middle part of the path attribute and convert it to a name attribute. If you take attribute wrangle and write this code, since path attribute is a primitive attribute, we need to change run over to primitive. Then you can see we have quite big name, which is difficult to understand. In this OTL we had to give path attribute in the first parameter. So as you can see, we were having 58 name attributes and now here we have 45. Now we have a nice clean name here. You can also delete this. So what does this parameter do? If you don't have a path attribute instead, you have a SOP material path so you can write a SOP material path. Always keep the path by default. If the path is not available then it will jump to the SOP material path. If that is not also available. If you have some other kind of pathing attribute then you can type it here. It will make a name attribute based on that third statement. So now we need to split everything based on their properties. Take a split node. First, we need to extract the glasses, we are going to select one glass based on the name attribute. Now add a star before the glass and remove all the other words. Take another split node and here we are going to extract the pipe. Put the star here too. Now we have only pipes. There is some viewport glitch, let's take a new scene view. Now we need to extract the roof, metal, frames, and other things. It will be an awfully long process, so, I will just copy and paste from the older file. I will show the string editor so you can also see and split it. These are the name that I use them to extract. Now we will automatically have all the walls. 
Now we need to fix the building for fracturing. Before moving further, let's create a duplicate of the name attribute which is very useful sometimes if we have some problems in the future. This will be as same as the name. In primitive wrangle write this code. So here we are having window glass. Take a primitive wrangle and write this code. Click the plus icon to generate the parameter. Write $OS here, so it will pick the operator's name. Change the wrangle name to glass. If we go and see, for all the glass pieces we have the same name. To fix this we need to take a connectivity node and set the connectivity type to primitive. So now we will need to write some additional code. We are going to use the etoa function. This function is used to add integer attributes in a string. As you can see, we have a class attribute of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. It will add all the numbers after the glass. You can see we need to give an underscore, add a plus sign. Then underscore. And then again plus sign. Now as you can see name attributes have a nice naming. Also, we have the original name store as name underscore original. We need to add names for pipes also so copy the wrangle node and paste it here. Remove the additional codes. Set the wrangle name as pipe. Copy the wrangle again and named it metal. Again copy the wrangle and name it as concrete. Let's arrange the nodes. Add nulls. Merge all the nulls and we are ready to start preparing our building for fracture. 